In a blink of an eye, a thief can steal your credit card without ever touching you or your wallet. It is called electronic pickpocketing. The investigator Tom Meyer saw how it happens firsthand on the streets of Cleveland. It's a story you'll see only on Channel 3. Hey guys, how you doing? Hey, I'm Tom Meyer with Channel 3 News. Nice to meet you. Good. Would you mind if we showed you how pickpockets rip you off without anyone touching you? Newer credit cards with wireless signals, so-called contactless cards, may be more convenient for you to use. But security expert Walt Augustinowitz says they also make it easier for thieves to rip you off. We took Augustinowitz around Cleveland to show you how thieves can easily lift your credit card info electronically. Where do you keep the cards? Right out here. Right on the outside? And I just stole your card. Do you have a Crazy. PNC visa and an 3353? I do. That's insane. Wow. The newer cards have a special symbol. It's called RFID, radio frequency identification. It sends a signal that allows you to simply wave your credit card near a card reader at checkout for quick and easy payment. This is the actual credit card reader. It's similar to the type you'd find at any store. Augustinowitz says anyone can buy one. He did. I just went online and went to a store that sells these and ordered one. Nobody asked any questions. He connected the portable card reader to a battery and tucked it all away in an iPad case. He blends in with Cleveland's downtown lunch crowd as he goes on the prowl looking for purses and wallets. Unsuspecting Clevelanders, especially those who appear to be easy targets, have no clue their credit cards are about to get stolen until we tell them. You see, that's, that's your card number right there. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. my gosh. You can that's do it that crazy. easy. That's pretty scary, actually. Yeah. At Hopkins Airport, baggage claim is busy. Yeah, I got your Visa card. A good time for electronic pickpocketing. And I just got your credit card. You want oh, to really? show it to them all? It's a Chase Visa card. Is that is your that number? Your card? Yeah, 8644. Four. Yeah, and that's the whole thing right there. Did you know it was that easy to get ripped off? No. Nah. What do you think? That's incredible. I had no idea. Brian Hayes' credit card was just as easy to pick off. Is that is, your number? Is that uh, the whole thing right there? Yeah. yeah. What, do you, what do you think of that? It's horrendous, actually, isn't it? It's a mm -hmm. just opportunity just to steal money from you, really, isn't it? Credit card companies argue their cards are secure because names and security codes aren't transmitted. And there's no evidence that fraud is taking place. This is not a real problem. Augustinowitz says you often don't need the name of the credit card holder or the three-digit code to rip people off. Now, some sites will ask you for the three-digit code, but some sites won't. He's right. My videographer, Mike Leonard, gave us the okay for Augustinowitz to pirate his credit card electronically. Then he went online and, using a bogus name, ordered a polo shirt from Amazon.com using Mike's card. It says, uh... The order has been placed. A few days later, the shirt arrived by standard shipping at the designated address. So how do we protect ourselves? There are sleeves and wallets that block radio waves coming from contactless cards. Augustinowitz demonstrated some of his products. And if we take my credit card here, and I'm going to just, just to show you, like right now it can read it. And if I put it in the sleeve, now it can't. Nothing. So, and you'll see as soon as I start to pull it out here. It can read it. While credit card companies downplay electronic pickpocketing, some security experts believe it will become the number one way your credit and debit card information is stolen. Keep in mind now, credit card companies point out their customers are not responsible for any unauthorized charges. Wow. Still, that's absolutely frightening that that can happen. Do a lot of people have these newer cards? Chris, there's about 70 to 200 million of these cards out there, I'm told. As we walked around Cleveland, we found about four out of every 10 people had one. Everyone should have one in the next couple of years. I got to tell you, Walt got my credit card without me knowing it. I was sitting in the <laughs> Perk Plaza there, oh came gosh. up from behind me. Had no idea. That's something when you can get uh, the investigator. I made sure I got it back. Yeah, yeah. good for you. That is incredibly <laughs> scary. It is. All right, Tom. Thanks All a right. lot. Well, for everyone who uses a smartphone, an important warning. Downloading an app could put you at risk for electronic pickpocketing. The investigator, Tom Meyer, has an eye-opening report about how your own phone could turn against you if you're not careful. Security expert Walt Augustinowitz showed us how you can easily become a victim of electronic pickpockets.
if you have newer credit cards with RFID, radio frequency identification. Oh, that's pretty wild. I didn't realize it was that easy. You probably don't even know you have it, but the high-tech cards have a special symbol. Thieves can intercept the radio frequency and walk off with your credit card number without touching you or your wallet. Basically, this is the same. Augustinowitz, using a portable credit card reader anyone can buy, showed electronic pickpocketing in downtown Cleveland is child's play. I just stole your credit card. Okay. You have a uh, Visa card ending in 6686 in there. Yes. It's the actual whole number right there. Now, Augustinowitz warns of a new threat involving RFID cards and smartphones. It all starts with a feature that's been added to a number of new cell phones called NFC, Near Field Communication. By simply entering your credit card information into your phone, the new technology turns your phone into a virtual wallet. Simply wave it over a credit card reader at any store and pay instantly. So it eliminates credit cards. Right. I just wave my phone. Wave, pay, and walk away. Sure sounds convenient, but Augustinowitz says the new technology can easily turn your smartphone against you. He demonstrated by infecting a common tic-tac-toe game he downloaded into his phone. But whenever your phone gets near a card, it has a little piece of code that trips, a little piece of software that says, there's a credit card, get the information, send it to xyz at gmail.com. Augustinowitz says your own phone could be scanning your credit cards and emailing them anywhere in the world. They could be in Iowa in a cornfield, put their phone in their pocket next to their credit card and get ripped off this way. Credit card companies downplay the potential for fraud. Fraud based on scanning contactless payment cards is not happening. This is part of the NFC technology. Augustinowitz says millions of NFC phones will be in use soon and believes you could be at risk. It was a serious wake-up call for some passengers at Hopkins. This phone gets next to a card. It launched that tic-tac-toe oh game, but it actually just read that card and secretly emailed all the data off to anybody somewhere else in the world. What, what do you think of this? I, I'm scared. <laughs> Augustinowitz is among those who make protective credit card sleeves and wallets that block credit card numbers from being transmitted. It's pretty scary knowing that banks aren't probably telling you this thing, you know, these things when they send you the cards. Some credit card holders learning once again you can't be too careful. Put all my money in a mattress and I'll put a sleeve over it so nobody can steal it my sleeve. <laughs> Now, as you may know, a number of credit card companies have a zero liability policy, which means the cardholder is not responsible for any fraudulent charges. Despite what some security experts say, the credit card companies don't see electronic pickpocketing as a real threat. Okay, but if you see it as a real threat, is there anything else you can do to protect yourself? Well, Chris, in addition to those protective sleeves and wallets, you can also tell your bank that you really don't want the newer card. Not all banks will honor that request. Also, be very careful that when you download apps, that they come from a reliable source. Didn't even know about this. I will be going and checking the back of my credit card for that symbol when we're done. Okay. All right. Thanks, Tom. All right.